everyone, I'm back with another review for you guys for a, a book that I recently recently finished. It's going to be one of those days. Um, this took me a while to finish because it's... Yeah. Anyways, let's begin from the beginning, right? This is called Founding Feuds by Paul Aaron. I bought this at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It retails for $16.99 US dollars. The cover, uh, this one is paperback and it feels almost velvety to the touch, which I love. The design as well, I thought it was really nice. The pages, I have to tell you guys, it's not like normal book pages. They're like that good Xerox paper that you pay a little bit more for page. It's really kind of thick and very, very white. I don't know if it's going to make it or break it for you, but thought I'd mention it. Now, I thought it was a continuous book, but it's not. It's, it's each chapter, it'll tell you who's fighting against who. So like this one is Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, and it'll give you guys a quote uh, that each one of them said or was said about them. And then it'll start with a story of why they were uh, against each other, how it started, how it ended, if it was resolved or not. A lot of these people, um, now, here we go. If you don't know who the Founding Fathers are, I suggest you go and take a look at that first before you read this book. Because I didn't remember, I haven't, uh, studied the Constitution in a while, so I didn't really remember. So it was a little confusing to me, I will say, um, at first. But then you kind of get the gist of it. You also get the idea that these people are much like children, grown-up kids. You know, you I had this idea of the Founding Fathers as being these noble men who wanted good for the country and yada 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 that I was taught in school. Turns out some of these men didn't even uh, want to sign the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. And um, they, I mean, you will see everything in here from one spitting at the other's face in the Congress, in Congress Hall, I mean, they were really big kids, really. And you see nowadays with uh, politics, which I think personally is ridiculous and unprofessional in every way possible, is them tweeting everything. Oh, I spoke to President so-and-so. Oh, I did this, this, and fighting to tw through Twitter. I think that's ridiculous. That's unprofessional. And that is very embarrassing for me to have my president do that. But if you read from the Founding Fathers, the Founding Feuds, um, they did the same thing, only of course they didn't have Twitter, but they would print out in the newspaper the letters that they were sending each other and kind of bicker back and forth like schoolgirls. It's just, it was very ridiculous and it got um, really annoying at the end. So I really had to push myself through it. If you love politics, if you love everything about politics and, and government and everything, I'm sure you're going to devour this. I, not so much. But I do want to read something that I absolutely loved that I think grasps the whole idea of this country, the Declaration of Independence, and also of this book. And it is. It says in the epilogue, uh, Though the founders did not fully grasp it, democracy depends on differences of opinion. From the founders' feuds, sometimes philosophical, sometimes political, sometimes petty, emerged a nation more democratic than the founders envisioned. American politics today could certainly benefit from more civility. Politicians ought not to follow in the footsteps of Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton and start shooting each other. But Americans ought also not to yearn for a time when everyone agreed about everything. That time never existed. 
Uh, I love this quote from this book. I think it summarizes very well um, even what's going on right now, you know, with our new president and everything. It just really hits home. So if you're interested, you know, in getting to know our founding fathers a little bit more and kind of their feuds and what was going on and realizing that from the beginning until today, you know, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Basically, human beings will be human beings and their children. We are all big kids. Um, grab this. Try to find it at your Dollar Tree. They probably still have it there um, for a dollar. And have it a go. Let me know what you think about this book. I'll see you guys later, alright? Bye-bye.